Hello, this is Nathan from Station X giving you an update here. There is a new and rather serious security vulnerability that has been made public today. It's important that you're all made aware of it so you can mitigate against it. This is a weakness in the WPA2 protocol used in encrypted Wi-Fi networks. WPA2, the encryption, the authentication, the protocol is what everyone should now be using. So this is a widespread issue. This newly found weakness called the key reinstallation attack, or it's been shortened or given its snappy name as cracks, can be performed when your adversary is within Wi-Fi range. So please note, this is only a local attack. They have to be within range of a Wi-Fi device that is running WPA. This attack technique enables, when it's successful, enables the reading of information or data that was previously, you previously assumed was being encrypted by WPA. So when you think you're sending data over Wi-Fi confidentially, the data with this attack is in fact being read by the attacker. So possibly revealing sensitive information, credit card numbers, passwords, chat messages, emails, and so on. If your device supports Wi-Fi, it is most likely affected. During the research initial test, they discovered that Android, Linux, Apple, Windows, OpenBSD, MediaTek, Linksys, and others were all affected by some variant of the attacks. But it's actually most devastating against Linux and Android 6.0 and higher because of the way they implement WPA2. So if you use those Linux, Android 6.0 or higher, then you need to make sure you mitigate the attacks ASAP. The attack works against all modern protected Wi-Fi networks. So depending on the network configuration, it is also possible to inject and manipulate data too. For example, an attacker might be able to inject ransomware or other malware into your website. So effectively, it can affect confidentiality and it can also manipulate the data and can affect the integrity of the data. The weaknesses that have been discovered are in the Wi-Fi standard itself and not in individual products or implementations. Therefore, any correct implementation of WPA2 is likely affected. If you want to know more about the technical details and read a breakdown, then check out this link here, crackattacks.com. Also, if you want to read the full paper, there's that link here. Reddit also has some good posts and a good place for general communication on this. So check out that link there for Reddit. So importantly, what do we do to mitigate this new attack? Well, if you're following my advice on the complete cybersecurity course, you should be already taking the right steps anyway. But let's go through them anyway, the mitigation. So first important step, update affected products as soon as security updates become available for this weakness, particularly Linux and Android. You may need to contact vendors to see if there is a patch available. This vulnerability has been released under, under reasonable and responsible disclosure. So a lot of vendors have already produced patches for this. It's not come as a surprise. So there may well be a patch available. Also as a mitigation, you can add an extra layer of encryption because this helps the prevention of the reading of data and modification of data. That's one of the core functions of encryption. So we want to add extra layers where we can. So for example, we could use a VPN to encrypt the traffic when you can. So if you're on your old Android phone, put on the VPN and there the attack won't be able to then modify the data to to insert ransomware and won't be able to read your data because it's encrypted. You've added an extra layer on top. And in the same light, you can use HTTPS to encrypt your traffic when you can. Now, this attack, as has been demonstrated, can actually switch your HTTPS to HTTP. So as another mitigation, you can monitor that HTTPS isn't being stripped and changed to HTTP. So that's essentially you're looking at your browser, making sure that HTTPS is still there, the padlock is still there, and that you've not had your HTTPS stripped out. Another mitigation is 
use other forms of encryption like SSH. So essentially don't send sensitive data in plain text where possible. You can also switch off Wi-Fi if you don't need it. And you could also use 4G or an alternative if that's viable for you. Wi-Fi access points are less susceptible to this vulnerability. The main attack is against the four-way handshake and does not exploit access points, but instead targets clients. So it might be that your access point does not need security updates. You can contact your vendors for more details. In general, though, you can try to mitigate attacks against routers and access points by disabling client functionality, which is, for example, used in repeater modes and disabling 802.11R fast roaming. For ordinary home users, your priority should be updating clients such as laptops and smartphones, Android phones, etc. This is Nathan from Station X signing out. Thanks a lot.